Hey there y'all YouTube, welcome to Homemade Collectibles channel. This is a look at the homemade, authentic, articulated male Mewtwo action figure from the Godzilla 2014 film. This is a origami articulated figure that is posable, that is um, really cool because we haven't got a Mewtwo figure of the male. Um, and this is a option out there in the market. Um, it is a postable figure, and we're going to take a look at it today so you can see how um, this uh, product works. So, let's take a look at this figure here. It is meant for the, um, like the 6-inch NECA, Godzilla's SH, Bandai, Movie Monsters, or uh, whatever preference, you know. But it is meant for that scale. Um, it is really cool really cool figure and um, so yeah it's made out of a really nice paper plastic with metal parts um, so it's not like a uh, figure that's gonna like just you know you can drop it and it'll be just fine you know nothing came off you know that's the you know a lot of people would say you know it's my break and all that but um, it's it's paper plastic so it's really good material and has some metal pieces and um, so yeah, let's take a look at details of this figure. So this is the male Muto. So let's take a look at that head right there. You can see the gums, the teeth, that awesome, you know, red eye feature that they're famous for. And even if even if you open the mouth, you can see it's got a tongue in there. So that's really cool. The neck. And here are the wings themselves, which the wings are opposable right there. Let's look at the other side of the wings. The biggest challenge with this figure is probably the color. We didn't want to give him this one boring color. We added some yellow, you know, uh, yellow greenish texture features and try to make it look like a um, creature, you know, like a parasite creature, because that's a, essentially what these were, were parasites, uh, like insect-like mammals. So here you have the uh, details behind the wings you can see it's really cool it's got that really um, awesome texture and color so it's not like it's one color boring color so you, you know add some different flavors and you know, articulate these hands and you can see it's got the uh, the smaller hands as well those are detailed as well really nice got the legs right there and it also has the foot toe claws I mean I'm sorry right there on the foot same thing on the other side it's got those detailed toe claws and then you got those mudo hands which there's also some red features here because these creatures have this EMP attack and um, just try to add some flavor to the color palettes for this guy so really awesome fantastic figure undercarriage also has yellow um, details right there so there's the top of it as well there's the back it's like a little tip of the tail right there Oops, my whole entire camera just moved right there so the figure does have posability which is one of the highlights of this figure so it has more than nine points of articulation. So it has articulation in the jaw. So the jaw can go up and down. You can see the tongue detail right there. The neck can go um, down as well. So it can look down. Not so much up because of the, the way the head is, but that's okay. Um, the wings have this articulation right here, you can bend it down. So if you want to give it the landing mode, like so, you can do that. Or if you want to have it fly, you just fold out the wings, you know, pull these back, like so, just pull the arms back. Just having that flying pose, you know. So the wings are articulated right there. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. I don't think you guys saw that. Zoom out actually. There we go. Just a little bit. 
the arms can go forward and back. And then there's also articulation right here. Same thing on the other side of the figure. The arms can go forward and back. And then there's some articulation right there. And then these smaller arms articulate, just, they just go forward and back. Same thing on the other side of the figure. So you can have those arms sticking out. The legs, or actually, I'm sorry, the, uh, there's articulation on the middle body section. You can move this up and down. And then also at this point here, um, it can go up and down, but just a little bit, not too much, but it is there. And then there's also articulation right there. And then of course the legs are articulated. You can go forward and back. And then same thing on the other side. So forward and back. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this figure is posable. And it is really cool. But not only is it a posable figure, whoops. Not only does it pose, looks like this leg is just staying well there we go but it does include accessories it includes this awesome um, scene with the airport and it has this stand right here uh, which is bendable which is really cool you can bend the stand and you can actually put the muto and the flying pose on this which we're going to show that so really cool it's got a fire effect got little buses got a, another bus right there you got a plane and then you have the, um, the mechanics where people could go in there and then there's the plane. So yeah, it's really detailed, really nice. Just add some more flavor to it so you can display this giant monster, you know, destroying the airport and all that. Make a little scene from the film, add some flavor to it. But not only that, but you can actually the um, the Muto figure in the uh, flight stand that is attached. It's not removable, but that's probably for the best so you can have it um, stand and bend that pose. It does take a little bit of, of uh, fiddling. Let's see if that's gonna work on the camera. It's a hit or miss, but you know. You gotta just fiddle with, with it a little bit. But yeah, you can have the Muto in that flying pose right there. Actually, let's stick the head up there. That's so much better. Just imagine if it wants to stay there. Yeah, you just gotta fiddle with it a little bit. But, you know, it is possible. And you can also see more detailed pics of it in the stand in our listing for this guy, which is going to be on the link below, in the link below. It also comes with this little uh, person here. Not too detailed, but it, you know, you can fit it in the Muto's mouth, have it for a snack. displayed right there so this guy is available for sale um, we do accept offers we do price negotiation and um, so please uh, support our store our channel so we can make more of these uh, homemade figures and make better improve better versions we're always trying to improve make these um, authentic as possible um, these are one-of-a-kind origami um, action figures. Um, so, ooh, it wants to fall down again. So really awesome. Check out the link below. Um, it's only thirty, uh, thirty-three dollars with you know shipping, but uh, 
you know, please help us out. If you have any questions about this product, um, feel free to comment below. And oh, I forgot, it also comes with its own authentic packaging. Um, and it's gonna be nicely displayed in this box here. So, yeah, it's not gonna be like just, you know, shove all this in the box and ship it. No, we're gonna nicely package it. We're gonna nicely ship it to you and make sure that, you know, if anyone who, you know, is interested in buying this gets their money's worth. So, um, yeah, that is the male Muto action figure. Thank you for watching.